everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to do the basic beaming heart as this heart design became more and more popular i got so many requests to make tutorials so here i am there's some secrets but overall it's not that difficult so yeah let's get started Here I have three kinds of purples to make the desired shade. You'll see in the next clip, I will be taking a little bit of each purple just to like, I don't really have anything in mind, but I like to mix them so that they're more neutral, if that makes sense, but you can make them more contrasted too. As you can see, I've already painted the base and I take a different shade of purple and placing two dots and connecting the dots with these curves to make the heart shape. You can start with very thin lines and then kind of go over with a thicker line. I always do this so that my lines are symmetrical to make that perfect heart shape. Um, there's no rules for how thick the lines should be. The thicker it gets, it gets wider. And the thinner it gets, there's more layers. So it's really all up to you. After the first heart is done, you can go ahead and cure it. And while you're waiting, you can make a different shade of purple or just wait for until it gets cured. Since the innermost layer is the lightest purple and the first heart is the semi-dark purple, I am going in with the darkest purple here to make that gradation effect. And what I like to do is that I start with the outline. So I'm not necessarily touching the inside, the first heart. And it's more like I fill in later on. See here? This is how I correct my lines. Go ahead and cure it again. This may seem tedious, but I like to cure it one at a time because for instance, if I make a mistake with the next heart, if the previous hearts are already cured, I can just wipe it off and start over. In order to save time, and since I've already painted the base with the light purple, I am painting a heart outside of that light purple as if I'm skipping that line to create another heart. So it's like you can kill two birds in one stone here. And I'm using the semi-dark purple. Make sure to paint this heart perfectly since there's no heart attached inside. At this point, it's basically repetition. Do the same thing. But I wanted to mention that here, the layers are quite even, but if you want to change up the width of each color, that would look cool too. So there's no rule how to make it, but I just wanted to explain the most basic version of this beaming heart. This time, I only use purple, which is very low contrast, but if you like the higher contrast, you can pair pink with green or blue or anything else um i just wanted to say there's no rules for any kind of design go ahead and apply the top coat here and if there's any more questions please comment i would try to answer as soon as i can I can see why so many people struggle with this design because hearts are difficult in general. It's so hard to paint hearts. It's so simple, but it's so hard. There's like 
corners, there's curves, and it has to be symmetrical. But creating those two dots I did in the beginning, that would really help you to make your heart very symmetrical. So I would strongly suggest you to do the same. Before I finish this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe because I am making more videos. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!